everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to visit a beautiful place, a new addition to Dubai tourism that is the Museum of the Future. We are just going to witness our future that is Dubai in 2071. Come let's see what's there in store for us. One of Dubai's most famous landmarks, the Museum of the Future, takes pride of place along with the city's superhighway, Sheikh Zayed Road. Founded by the Dubai Future Foundation and launched on 22 February 2022, the museum explores how society could evolve in the coming decades using science and technology. The first step towards the museum that is this walk bridge itself gives you the feel of the grandeur in which this most beautiful building on earth is built upon. Just a quick tip exclusively for my viewers in case you are unable to get tickets for your entry inside the museum of the future you can still very well come up to this point because until here nobody checks your tickets so you can have complete access to this part of the museum along with the access to the cafe inside the museum as well when we talk about future everything here truly demonstrates that aspect right from the vending machine for the ticket and your hand tag depicts that as well the whole process was so seamless and that itself was an experience as it is tickets for the museum of the future are priced at ad 145 for each adult however children under the age of three people of determination and Emirati senior citizens are allowed free entry. You can either buy the tickets uh, on the official website or you can also check for offers that are running on different websites that are available during the time of your visit. We were truly excited to visit this museum and I think it shows. We quickly tied our hand tag and were off inside the museum. Termed a living museum, it incorporates elements of traditional exhibitions, immersive theater and themed attractions so visitors can look beyond the present and towards the future's limitless possibilities. Furthering a global intellectual movement, it's also the headquarters for city's Great Arab Minds initiative that aims to identify thousand exceptional Arab talents across key fields. The interiors of this building is as beautiful as how it looks outside. The museum which spans over 30,000 square meters, houses experiences and exhibitions about futuristic ideas and innovations. As you start your tour of the exhibitions inside the museum, don't forget to take a pause and take a sneak peek at the jaw-dropping lobby of the building. As you enter the museum, the enormous lobby welcomes you with the floating animal-themed air ropes that roam around the vast atrium. As you take your eyes from these floating robo-creatures, you also get a sight of a different kind of drop pods that take you to different levels of the museum. Your eyes will widen at the sight of white panels that constitute the roof and encase the beautiful Arabic calligraphy that brings in the sunlight to create a glowing pattern in the interiors. The entire museum is 
divided into different chapters. The first chapter of your tour is a space expedition where you will be taken to outer space which is 600 kilometers above the earth and then to the OSS Hope Station. We were entering the Space Shuttle Stimulation, Orbital Space Station or OSS Hope. Chapter 1 of the Museum Experience is a journey to space. Here you will experience what life in outer space is like by taking a ride to space. It includes a shuttle stimulation with all the realistic sound and processes followed during a real space shuttle takeoff. You'll get to enjoy the aerial views of Dubai as well as outer space through the panels of the shuttle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the When you reach the OSS Hope Station, which is on the fifth floor of the museum, you enter the command center of the station. Here, we can take time to explore the missions undertaken by the station, monitor the projects and more. This magnificent edifice is Orbital Space Station Hope. It is the largest orbiting structure ever built and one of humanity's greatest achievements. Solar energy collected in the panels is 
converted into laser beams of electric energy. Hotel Space Station at its various missions from our interactive station. So I invite you all once again to the center of OSS Hope. Welcome everyone. Please come forward and you will begin the journey right from the Earth overview into. Please come forward. Welcome everyone once again and you can all begin your journey right from observing the beautiful planet Earth from the space station. We call this window as Earth Overview because the Earth Overview window will show you where exactly the space station is traveling and also at what speed the space station is traveling at the moment which is 11,000 kilometers per hour and how much energy we have consumed. Please, so that is and as you can see, we present our solar system. So, showing the actual position of the planet and the universe along with the speed through our big sun. And you can find the planet here. So, the third planet in our solar system is Earth. And we are showing you only eight planets because currently we have a service to commemorate and to remember all the people who lost their life in the space. And if you think one step back from that side of the monument, or the panels down on the side of the monument, or that starting from there, it's on that side, you'll find the engraved the name of all people who lost their life in the space on their missions. After having a view of all the exhibits, you are also guided to missions that are hiring recruits and you can apply to be a part of these missions. You can apply for any role you like. Two portals introduce the mission to the recruits and you will be given duties such as asteroid fleet pilot, junior bio designer on the orbit of the earth and more. Apart from that exciting hiring process, there is a lot more you can experience in this chapter. You get to touch and feel the different planets using the immersive techniques that they have used here. And you can have a sight of different artifacts used in the space uh, like water, snacks and all of the look and feel of the items that are used in the outer space.
here. You can either take the staircase or you can use the elevator and press 4. Right thank this so way, much. everyone. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 As you finish chapter 1 and move on to the chapter 2, Heal Institute, you'll be welcomed with a view of futuristic Dubai, possibly in 2071. This view shows how Dubai will be in the near future. The garden uses advances augmented reality and virtual reality technologies to give you a preview of genetically modified digital Amazon forest. You can expect to experience the real sounds and lights of the forest and thus experience the wonders of nature. The experience will teach you the after effects of the changing climatic conditions and how humans can rectify them. This was undoubtedly the most astonishing part of the museum for me, Vault of Life. The Heal Institute's next part is a DNA vault which is named the Library of Life. Here you'll find more than 2000 species locked in glass jars where you can see even the minute details which otherwise are hard to see. These glass jars are illuminated by some kind of lights which makes the sight even more beautiful. This is an enormous genetic archive. These many crystal specimen jars hang suspended in a 375 square meter space, each etched with an image of a unique existing or even extant life form. The library catalogues the majestic diversity of our planet's living things, inviting visitors to forge a deeper connection with nature. Its immense scale and breadth reveal the deeply interconnected nature of all life on earth and what we can do to restore our rich ecosystems. Level 4 also showcases an ecosystem stimulator which is a laboratory that tests how a new species can bring change to the environment. Level 3 was Alvaha. Alvaha or Oasis in English is a series of experiences 
that could heal your mind and the body. You can take a break from digital mediums and enjoy a healing experience. You start off with making a wish. In this make a wish pool, you can make a wish for the future. The oasis is a spa for your senses. Here they've arranged sensory rooms and activities that can soothe your mind by disconnecting you from the technology. A sand bath can also be found where audiovisual effects create the illusion of a soft carpet resembling fine white sand that leaves an imprint following guests footsteps. In addition, the courtyard is equipped with four adjoining rooms that hold between three to six people who can gather to experience different ultrasonic therapy methods and techniques. Another connection therapy takes place at a concave shaped table where six people are asked to lean into their microphones and hum together to promote collaboration and connection between them. as a team all we need to do is take out the humming sound like hum throughout the microphones here you see near the lights at the table so these lights can hear us and we try to connect them all at the top of the rock together but in order to achieve a sense of harmony also between us let's try to hum all of us at the same time ready let's come a little bit closer to the mic and let's all hum together one two three hum Finally, the circular meditation center that is found in the zone is considered to be the cherry on top. Multiple seats are placed around a projector that projects water ripples and waves on the ceiling while sounds of the ocean and sea life play in the background, making it a stimulating yet relaxing experience. Hi. Level 2 or the chapter 4 is about tomorrow today. 
This floor is a celebration of the technology that could revamp the future. The floor mainly exhibits the gadgets and innovations that could help you overcome challenges and shape a positive future. This part of the museum aims to educate you about the power of technology in transforming the way we live through the exhibits showcased here. This chapter also highlights how researchers, designers, etc. are reacting to the technological advancements of the present time and how technology can be used to shape a better future. This floor also opens the door to some magnificent sights. The floor lets you enter the viewing deck which takes you outside through the inner shell of the museum. The view from the deck is spectacular as you get to see half curve of the museum as well as the views from there. Truly describes why this building is called the most beautiful structure on earth. Level 1 or the chapter 5 which is the future heroes. The last chapter which is located on the first floor is a dedicated futuristic play space for kids. While the children can let their imagination grow wider, the older ones can sip some coffee from the cafe or choose a unique fragrance which is created by the robotic perfume maker. And this is the outer view of this most beautiful building. It is truly a wonder inside out. That's it for the video today. If you really like the content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more amazing content. Take care and bye.